there are certain things you can't tolerate in a civil society. Racism, hate talk, Islamophobia, all of these things have to be uh, prevented from becoming normalized. And unfortunately, they have been normalized by a commercial media that cares only about raking in profits. In a functioning democracy, uh, a figure like Trump or a figure like Roger Stone, who's, who's, who's kind of the, you know, the, the dark force behind Trump. For first, his lawyer, of course, was Roy Cohn, which is arguably one of the most evil figures in American history, he was uh, McCarthy's counsel and sent the Rosenbergs to the electric chair and um, just an absolutely vicious, but Stone is not far behind. And uh, so Stone will say things that he knows are patently untrue, as does Trump. But the media loves it um, because it's part of the burlesque, part of the uh, vaudevillian atmosphere that has infected systems of information including news. The whole fact that Fox News is now mainstream, I mean, Fox News figures are being hired away by MSNBC and CNN. Um, and and so it, it's really the media's fault for sinking to their level um, because it's salacious. I mean, just a small example was when Stone and these Wall Street figures went after Elliot Spitzer um, and Stone put out that Elliot Spitzer was having sex with prostitutes with his socks on. Well, I mean, I think all of the networks that broadcast that understood it wasn't true, but it was just so, uh, you know, so so entertaining and so uh, attractive as as a piece of uh, propaganda uh, that it got disseminated all over the networks, um, and 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 this has just been writ large across the media landscape, which is how a figure like Trump is given the kind of prominence and airtime uh, that in a functioning democracy he would never get. Uh, even now, they they can't kind of resist the allure of Trump because he's good for their revenue stream. And that's all these news media organizations have become, is they've been bought up by huge corporations. So it's not that they're owned by CBS or the old Hearst newspaper empire. They are one of many, many revenue streams, and they compete against other revenue streams, and their worth is determined by the revenue that they bring in. And and that has just plunged us into this kind of moral and intellectual swamp uh, that has, was is fertile ground for a figure like Trump.